Make sure to stand till the end because if you do a few things wrong, you can burn electronics module fuses and you can cause quite a bit of headache. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Dodge Ram with a 3.6 V6 engine and if you're trying to test camshaft position sensors, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that, we're making this video because many of you requested in the comment section below that same engine has been used in multiple Dodge, Chrysler and G products, some of those are Dodge Challenger, Charger, uh, Durango, Journey, Chrysler 300, Chrysler Pacifica, Dodge Ram, and you can find in Jeep Cherokee, Grand Cherokee, and Wrangler, and other ones as well. So, uh, how do you test the camshaft position sensor? Stay with us, we'll explain that, because if you do it the wrong way, you can burn electronics, modules, fuses, and that could be really hard to diagnose in some cases. Uh, but before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos and if you guys need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tool supplies from and you can guys save a ton of money so let's start on it now so as i said the same engine is in dot challenger that we have here in dodge ram practically the same 3.6 pentastar engine uh, this is a very good engine, we will have videos how to take it completely apart, how to do anything from timing chains, variable timing sprockets and all that stuff. So, if you look now at the engine guys, okay let me come on this side, this is a dual variable timing engine. You have two variable timing sprockets right here, that's the intake, that's the exhaust. You can see those are the actuators. So the engine computer needs to know the exact location of each of the camshafts, intake and exhaust at any time. And if you pay attention, you have only one camshaft position sensor per head, okay? But that sensor actually consists of two sensors, guys, not just one, two. That's right. You can see, okay, like that, we cannot see it. Okay, like this one. One here for the intake camshaft, one for the exhaust, you can see. Now, that sensor consists of four wires, okay? Four wires are here check this thing out and if you look at wire number three and four this is for the camshaft sensor on the exhaust side and uh, wire one and two one and two is for the intake side these two wires guys one is a five volt uh, uh, supply wire one volt uh, five volt signal wire so the supply wire will supply the voltage and you come back through the other wire but you have a, a sensor that activates by a magnet, it's kind of like a switch. And when you have a magnet close to it, okay, that signal wire will turn to zero. So it will know that, uh, 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 it, that's how it's going to know the position of the camshafts. How you can test it, okay, we have the, okay, we have the uh, cables connected to wire three and four. You can see right there, wire three and four. If you don't want to pinch your cables, those things are great. I'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from. That way you don't have to peel the cables. And if I go inside now, okay, I'm going to turn the ignition on. Doesn't matter if you have Dodge Ram or Dodge Challenger, it will be the same, guys. You just have to have the ignition on without trying to start the car. You don't need to remove your valve cover to do that, but we wanted to show you the okay we wanted to show you the camshafts and all that stuff so if you look now okay we're going to put our reader here so you can see it's at five volts right five volts and if we get a magnet guys and we get close to that sensor okay it should go back it, it should go to zero volts five volts zero five zero five zero next i recommend to always turn the car off but we'll actually do it that way never do that i'm going to switch those to uh, i'm going to switch them to actually wire one and two okay give us just a second That's wire one. I'm working on wire two now. Okay. 
wire to 5 volts now we will be testing guys at 5 volts we will be testing that camshaft sensor for the intake so if i get the magnet closed check it out okay let me see it is it on this side because the magnet is a little bit weak okay so you can see five zero five zero you can switch it depending on how you have your uh okay for how long you hold the magnet sometimes it can switch the signal but you can see it works it's important to go from five to zero okay when you have the magnet on and off if i try on this side nothing will happen check it out this one doesn't work but this one does so that's how you guys test hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time